the difference It gets stupefied Alright, well today I'm going to show you how to download a free full service registry cleaner. Um, this will get rid of all your problems on your computer, at least most of them. It won't get rid of viruses, so don't be planning on a virus check for this. I have, I recommend AVG for a free virus check. But um, this will clean up the problems and free up a, like corrupted space and stuff. So let's get started. First, we're going to go to Google, because this is the only way I know how to do it, unless I give you the link, which will be in the description on the right. But, if you want to do it this way, just go to Google, type in free full service registry cleaner. Go down to the one that's website is www.brothersoft.com slash download slash full registry cleaner. And it's for a Microsoft 2003 service pack, so you know it's good. And click on that. <coughs> Should come up to this. Instead of the first like group of them, you go down to the second, and there'll be one with 835 gigabytes. And it's free. And is uh, by IOBit. Click on that. go down to one sec yeah there we go alright here are all just the details of everything uh... it's good for windows vista xp in 2000 you don't need any special requirements you can go to their home page if you want right there but then click download and go down and it'll come up to server one software publisher click to download and it's gonna start your downloading process you can either run or save it I just run it and then save it after but make sure you save it to where you want this should only take a little bit cause it's not that big it's only whatever how many gigabytes it was but um, then make sure you save it to where you know it'll be so you can open it whenever you need like every other day type of thing and let me just show you what it looks like when it's done so that's just how you download it let me show you what it looks like when it's done. Okay, go. Just a minute. Where's my computer stuff? I don't know why, but it's under my, um, my pictures for some reason. I guess I saved it there, but I don't care. Then it'll look like this. It's all spelt wrong, but it's still fine. It'll have this little thing right there. And XP, you can just go through my, your your documents, right? Go to it. Click on that. It'll pop up like this. It'll scan the software. Because I'm recording right now, it's going slow, but it usually takes uh, like pretty quick. So I'll stop it, and once it's scan done scanning all of them, the registry fix, the privacy sweep, and the junk files clean, then I'll uh, start it up again. It should look something like this. Um, you'll probably have a lot more problems if you ha don't have a registry cleaner, like never done it before, or it's a brand new computer, then it won't have much. But if you've used your computer for a while, and uh, just one sec. If you used your computer before for a while, then it'll probably have quite a bit of problems, so don't be alarmed by that. Mine had 1,200, but now since I do it like every week, it only gets a few. So as you can see, I have 10 problems in the spyware. Um, in the registry fix, I have 17, and in the privacy sweep, I have 53. And let's just wait for the junk files clean. One sec. So it will look like this, something like that. I still can't get rid of these files for some reason, but you'll see how much problems you have. And click on them to find out more about them. 
but then I'd, ra I'd rather repair them first. I'll click repair, and I'll just start repairing every one of them. It look like this. It says problem fixed for everyone. So then you're gonna want to find out if it actually did fix it, and then you'll start scanning all over again. And I'll pause it and wait till it's done. And see, it's all done scanning, and I um, started to scan all over. And now it says no problems here, no problems in the registry fix, and no problems in the privacy suite. So it did its job, and it just minimized these. Like I think I was at 12,012 ,012 megabytes, so it just got a bit off it. But there's some permanent junk files it can't clean up unless you delete them yourself. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, hopefully it helped you. Hopefully it's qu uh, made your computer faster. And don't forget to rate, comment, and please subscribe if you want to see more tutorials. Alright, thanks, bye.